A wife and mother named Beth spends a weekend in Croatia. She is in the cab where a kind driver named Zane chats with her throughout the trip. When she arrives, Zane gives her a card in case she needs a ride again. Her best friend Kate greets her, and she's the one who paid for and organized their weekend trip. Beth gives her a necklace as a gift, but one of the onyx beads falls off, and Kate tells her to stop worrying about it. That evening, Beth makes a video call with her husband Rob and their baby Aster. Rob tells them to have fun on their night out, but don't get too drunk. At the restaurant, they talk about Kate's recent breakup with Jay. However, her ex still hasn't taken her off his credit card, so she orders the most expensive foods to make him mad. Beth admits that her relationship with her husband is not doing good as well, and she has not been laid for over a year already. Kate advises to divorce Rob, but Beth thinks they're just having a rough patch. Beth later sees her friend angrily talking on the phone. Kate says it is Jay who found out that she used the credit card. Kate is able to convince Beth to go clubbing with her. While she's doing makeup, Beth talks with their driver Zane, and she finds out that he is a refugee from Syria. Inside the bar, they meet two men, and Kate tells her friend that she should have a one-night stand. Beth says she's married, and Kate promises Rob won't know. One of the men flirts with Beth, and Kate invites them to their place. Beth later gets so drunk, and when she wakes up in the morning, she barely remembers what happened. She sees glasses of wine and contraceptives scattered around, indicating the men were there last night. She looks around for her best friend, but she could not find her. She can't contact her as well, so she FaceTimes her husband saying she's worried for Kate. Rob says she must have only gone shopping. Beth later asks the landlord named Sebastian if he saw Kate, but he says no. He then reminds her that parties are not allowed in the place, and he will charge extra for the two guests that stayed over. Beth reports her missing friend to the tourist police, and an officer named Povich is skeptical, saying it's possible she went with the men. She later asks Zane to bring her back to the club. Beth tries asking the bartender, but he seems not to care. Zane aggressively speaks with him, and they find out that the men last night were actually escorts who frequent the bar. When she remembers that Kate keeps on insisting her to have some fun, Beth realizes that her friend must have hired the escorts. That evening, Rob calls, and Beth says she has to stay for a while to find Kate. Next morning, she goes through the bar's Instagram and finds the picture of the two escorts. She tells Zane about it, and Zane books the men for a made-up private party. While waiting for the escorts, Beth and Zane chat and get to know each other better. Moments later, the men arrive, but when they see Beth, they bolt it away. Zane runs after and manages to catch one of them. He threatens to throw him off, and he finally tells them what happened. He says they didn't actually stay long, because they just stole Kate's bag and pawned it. Beth later retrieves the pawn bag and phone from the shop, but she still suspects the escorts. She goes back to the police, and Zane begs her not to mention his name, because he might get in trouble and his visa would be revoked. A female officer named Kovac asks Povich why he did not file the missing person report yesterday, and Povich says he thought that Kate was just partying somewhere. Beth begs them to question the escorts, because they must have done something to her friend. Beth calls Kate's ex-husband Jay, and he says they haven't talked with each other for weeks already. Beth reminds him about their argument on the phone when Kate used his credit card, and Jay says he has no idea about it. Sebastian later arrives and says it is already checkout time. Beth says she's staying in the country to find Kate, so the landlord offers a spare room downstairs. That evening, Beth tries to open Kate's phone, but she can't unlock it. When she goes upstairs, Sebastian invites her for dinner, but she declines. She goes to see Zane, and he invites her to dinner instead, but then Rob suddenly arrives. Surprised, Beth explains that he is just a taxi driver who's been helping her find Kate. Beth tells Rob everything, including the escorts, but then they get interrupted by a call. Kate's body has been found. At the morgue, they learn that Kate has drowned. They couldn't figure out yet if it was murder or accident until the autopsy result comes out. Next morning, Beth sees her husband seems troubled. He says he couldn't sleep when he saw Kate's body in the morgue. He says they have to go back to London, but Beth says she has to stay until the autopsy, and she has some arrangements to finish. Beth later confirms from Povich that Kate was actually murdered. She asks to see Kate for the last time. When no one is looking, Beth takes out her friend's phone and uses her dead face to unlock it. She goes to the bathroom to check it and finds out Kate has been calling a number named Handyman multiple times. Beth calls it, and to her surprise, the voicemail who answered is from her own husband, Rob. She checks their text messages, and Beth confirms that her best friend and husband were having an affair. And based on the latest messages, Kate is about to tell Beth the truth. At the station, Kovac says that there were traces of illegal substance found in both her and Kate's blood. 
Beth says that she must have been drugged that night, but Kovac says the escorts denied it and they had no prior history. They also have alibis for the time of murder. Kovac says the people at the club saw the girls arguing, but with her fuzzy memory, Beth says they were just having conversation. The police make her a suspect, and Povich holds her passport while the investigation is going on. Beth tells Zane about the affair, and she thinks Kate must have roofied her so she would get laid, and Rob would leave her. Zane asks if Rob could have killed Kate, and Beth says he was home in London when she called him that time. That night, Beth tells Rob that she already knows about his affair with Kate. Rob apologizes and asks her to come home to talk it out, but she says she can't because the police made her suspect and held her passport. Next morning, the police come over to arrest Beth. At the station, they show her the photo of her having dinner with Zane, who turns out to be a member of a criminal gang. Povich concludes that Zane killed Kate and Beth hired him to do it because Kate has been having an affair with her husband. Beth asks for a lawyer, and they let her go for the moment. At the apartment, Beth finds Zane who says the landlord let him in. Zane was also arrested but then let go because he's been driving at that time, and the taxi app proved it. Beth asks about his connection to the criminal gang, and Zane explains that during the war, he saved a boy who turns out to be the son of a gang member. The gang member then helped him get out of Syria, but Zane never worked for him. A while later, Beth gets puzzled how the cops were able to know about the affair. She remembers that she confronts Rob about it through the phone while standing near the mirror. She checks and finds a hidden camera installed there. She goes to chat with the landlord, and while Sebastian's not looking, Beth steals his key. When he left, she gets inside his studio, and there, Beth discovers that Sebastian installed hidden cameras in all the rooms. She checks the archive to see what really happened that night. Beth learns that Kate and the men just left her sleeping on the bed, and the three goes partying. While Kate is away, the men took her expensive bag and flee. Kate finds it out, so she hurriedly rides a cab to chase them. Beth takes note of the plate number. An hour later, she sees Kate get out of a different vehicle, and Beth notices a sticker in front of the car. Sebastian arrives, and when he is about to enter the studio, Beth slams the door, hitting his nose. He tries to explain, but Beth is mad, saying he knew what happened to Kate all along. Sebastian deletes the videos on his phone, and Beth snatches it. When he tries to take it back, she accidentally pushes him, hitting his head on the table, and making him pass out. She takes away the keys and runs away. Zane brings her to the taxi company, and they get to meet the driver of the cab that Kate rode to chase the escorts. The driver says they lost the men, so he brought Kate to the police station instead. Beth is puzzled why there was no report of Kate's stolen bag, and she remembers that Povich also did not file her missing report too. The TV flashes the wanted faces of Beth, and just moments later, the police arrive. Beth notices the sticker on Povich's car and remembers that it is the one that dropped off Kate that night. The two run away, and when they were able to hide, she tells Zane about the sticker, and says it must be Povich who killed Kate. Zane surrenders to the police so Beth can escape. However, Povich sees her. He chases her to the top of a building, and when she is finally cornered, she accuses Povich of killing Kate. They get into argument, but when Kovac arrives, Povich rattles and accidentally trips, making him fall off and die. At the station, Kovac says they were able to recover the video from the landlord where Povich dropped off Kate. She says Povich must have tried to hit on her but got rejected so he killed Kate. She apologizes to Beth for being wrongly accused, as she shows her a footage where a man who seems to be Povich pushes Kate into the sea. Kovac also reveals that it is the escorts who actually drug them because they found illegal substances in their apartment. They do it on women who hire them so they can rob them. Kovac returns her passport, and Beth leaves the station. Outside, she hugs and thanks Zane for his help. Beth goes back to London, but she is still in contact with Zane. She has also broken up with Rob, and as she drops off her baby at his place, Rob tries to reconcile with her, but she turns him down. Beth asks for the spare key of her car, and Rob tells her that it's in his jacket. When she goes to get it, Beth finds a bead, and realizes that it is the same onyx bead on the necklace she gave to Kate. She goes to the bathroom and calls Officer Kovac. Before she can tell her who the real killer is, she gets interrupted by Rob, and she puts the phone in her pocket. She then confronts Rob, accusing him of killing Kate, and says he must have flown that night since Croatia is just a two-hour flight. Rob tries to deny it, but then Beth shows her the onyx bead she found in his jacket. Rob finally confesses, but says it was just an accident. He meets Kate just moments after Povich dropped her off. At the boardwalk, Kate says she regrets what happened between them. Furious that she might tell Beth, Rob argues with her and hits her, making her fall and bang her head on the rocks. She falls into the water and when Rob thought she was dead, he ran away. Rob begs her not to report to the police since the case is closed already.
Beth gets her phone, and Rob snatches it, but it's too late when he sees that Beth has been on call with Kovac the whole time. Rob tries to assault her, but she hits him in the balls and runs away with her baby. The cops are rushing in the background, on the way to arrest Rob. Did you like our movie recap? Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. To be updated for new movie recaps, hit the notification bell.